Today I come up with the topic safety induction training for construction workers. To know about the basics of induction training, please watch how to plan and implement safety induction training. The link available in description box. This induction training covers the following contents: HSC policy, safe gate entry procedure, emergency procedure, general safety instructions, safety signages, PPE. site traffic routes incident reporting housekeeping electrical safety work at height confined space entry excavation safety manual handling safe lifting painting safety fire safety scaffolding environmental protection and safety at home the first one hsc policy for every organization There is a HSC policy in induction training program. It should be include and explain the employees about the contents of policy. This one is a sample HSC policy model. We are committed to protecting the health and safety of all people working at or visiting our site. We plan, manage, conduct, and supervise all our work in compliance with the legislation and best practices. We want to ensure that all workers have a clear understanding of their responsibilities along with that of the company. We protect the environment by reducing the use of toxic and hazardous materials, preventing pollution and conserving recovering and recycling materials. Next one safe gate entry procedure to enter into site give your details to hr department and receive your id card from security only enter or leave through the main gate report lost id card immediately and do not use other people's id card emergency procedure in case of emergency raise alarm stop work when alarm is sound Turn off all equipments. Do not run. Stay calm. Walk quickly to the assembly points and follow safety department instructions. General safety instructions. General safety instructions at site. Smoking and chewing tobacco is strictly prohibited in the premises. Do not use mobile phones in the premises unless authorized by HR official. Please note the maximum speed limit inside the premises is 15 km per hour. Enter inside the process area with required personal protective equipment. In case of chemical contact to skin or eye, flush with water for 15 minutes using eye wash and body wash shower. Work only with proper work permits. Report injuries, incidents, and unsafe conditions through your guide to HSC department. All areas are monitored by video surveillance. Do not panic in case of an emergency. Rush, don't run to emergency assembly point located in the site plan on hearing emergency alarm. dispose hazardous waste etp do not enter restricted areas without authorization safety signages you have to know the basics of safety signages there are different types of safety signages provided at work locations for example prohibition signs which means do not do a sign prohibiting the behavior likely to increase or cause danger example no smoking and the color is red one next one mandatory sign is it means must do a sign prescribing specific behavior example hard hat must be worn color code blue color third one safe condition signs which means the safe way a sign indicating emergency exits and fasted or equipment color code green 
Next one, fire signs, which means fire equipments. A sign indicate the location of fire fighting equipment. Example, fire extinguisher, color code red color. Next one, hazard signs, which means caution. A sign giving warning of hazard or danger. Example, danger electricity, color code yellow. And information signs which means general information, a sign providing information, example toilets, color code black. Next one PPE, PPE must worn all times at a site. There are two types of PPE, mandatory PPE and work specific PPE. Mandatory PPE means safety helmet, goggles and shoe. And job specific or work specific PPE means depending on the work activity, we have to use different types of PPEs like hand gloves, respirators, safety belts, etc. Site traffic rules adhere to speed limits and traffic signs. Two wheelers not allowed inside the site. Do vehicle inspection on daily basis. Incident reporting in case of serious incident. Don't move injured, do not attempt first aid if you are unqualified. In case of fire, raise alarm, fight fire if safe to do so. Minor incidents, inform to your supervisor first before reporting the first aid. Wait for trained first aider. Report accidents to supervisor through walkie talkies or phone. Housekeeping Keep walkways clear of tripping hazards Poor housekeeping causes accidents and injuries Poor housekeeping delays the work A tidy site is a safe site Remove all rubbish from site Remove all nails from wood Electrical safety All electrical equipments must be tested and tagged. Remember, unsafe tools can injure and kill. All electrical tools and equipment must be tested and tagged. And inspect all tools before use. Return broken or damaged tools and always remember damaged cables can kill. Next one, work at height. While work at height, you have to remember these things a supervision to be present at all times at work at height places man cages must be used with work permits and inspected daily before use do not remove barriers safety harness with double hook must be worn at all times while working at height or working at elevated platform do not remove handrails check the ladder before use Confined space entry. If you have to work in confined spaces, follow these rules. The first one, permit is required to enter a vessel or a confined space. Standby must be present whenever someone inside the vessel. Don't take cylinders into confined spaces. Remove gas hoses before breaks. Read, understand and obey the vessel entry permit precautions. Excavation safety, same as confined space, obtain an excavation permit. Shoring, sloping or stepping prevent collapse. Guardrails and proper access required at excavation areas. Spoil piled 1.5 meters from edge prevent injuries. Stay away from moving machinery near excavation areas. Next one, manual handling. Don't lift with your body. Know the weight. Get help with heavy loads. Look where you are going. Always remember, use your legs. Safe lifting. The safety instructions at lifting activity are no riding on loads. Use softness which means edge protection for sharp objects. For sharp edges on the loads lifted, check the equipment certification and color code, check the work permit and rigging study, 
and inspect all equipments before use. Check that the outriggers are fully extended, crane levels and flooring sound, crane level and footing sound complete with spreader pads. Don't overload cranes. Check that the all alarms and load indicators are working condition. Check load against the crane chart safe working load. Be aware of overhead dangerous power lines. Park cranes and vehicles safely. Next one safety instructions for painting workers or painting activity. Always wash your hands before eating. Make sure your cans are labeled. Take care don't endanger others. Contain wire spray. Replace leads on all containers immediately after use. Don't leave hazardous substances lying around. Fire safety. Use foam on liquid fires. While using carbon dioxide, keep yourself in fresh air. Do not use water or foam on electrical equipment. Dry powder for all types of fires. Carbon dioxide for electrical fires. Water for paper and wood fires, foam for liquid or oil fires. No smoking or flames around the flammable liquids. Flammable materials must be stored in well ventilated areas. Inspect the equipment carefully for damages. Gas cylinder must be stored in upright position and secured with chains. Gas cylinders will be closed off and hoses vented when unattended like brakes, close of works etc. Next one scaffolding safety. Only authorized scaffolder allowed to alter or erect scaffold. Platforms must have handrails and kickboards. Scaffolding must be on foot plate and secure footing. Do not use scaffold without proper tag. Safe scaffold will always be a green tag. Environment protection. Save electricity. When leaving the room, switch off all the lights and equipments you do not, you do not need anymore and close the doors to heated or cooled areas. Observe the principle of waste segregation. Before throwing away anything, Check the label on the waste bin and save water, don't leave the taps open. And last one, safety at home, reach home safely, eat well, get plenty of rest and arrive 